just gonna do it like an amateur wrap, I guess. But listen, man, even though she wraps me so well, I still end up cracking my skin because I, I hit really, really hard. I'm not praising my power, but it's just, it happens, your skin breaks. And those suck because then you're trying to recover, but you gotta keep working. You gotta keep hitting the bag in the mitts. So it never does recover well. Unless you stop hitting completely. I'm just gonna do it like an amateur rap. So how did you two meet? <laughs> My trainer was like, there's a, a girl, her name is Shelly Benson, she's perfect for you, I want you to fight her, she's undefeated. She's right, she, I was perfect. Yeah. <laughs> And um, I was like, all right, so I looked her up. And he would always talk about her, but I never took my time to look her up. I'm not the type to sit down and look at fighters and watch TV and look at, I, I just didn't have that time. I'm a mother of four, I was always busy. So when I finally did take a minute to check out Shalito Vincent, I went back to my trainer, I was like, are you trying to get me killed? Like, what's wrong with you? And he's like, no, you can beat this girl. I'm like, ah, she was just, I think it was your fight with Trevolino that I watched. Yeah, with, yeah, Jackie. Yeah, with, with Jackie. I was so impressed. It was the best female fight I've ever watched in my life. And I mean, she was nonstop. So I was a little mad at my trainer. I was like, well, <laughs> are you trying to get rid of me? Like, what's up? So, but I said I would fight her. So then my camp started talking to her camp and we were trying to arrange a fight. It fell through. I ended up sending I her something. I what I said to my camp. What did you say? They were like, oh, we want you to fight uh, some Jennifer Salinas. I said, well, let me check it out. So I go check it out and I was like, well, I don't want to fight her. I want to. <laughs> it's not good that, right? I said, I want to fight her. I want to. And I said, send it. I said, let me see that again. So I'm looking at when I was with Jimmy. So I'm, lo I'm looking and I was like, matter of fact, ask Mike Parente. So I said, matter of fact, I wiped that one up. Like, oh. it, was, it was mad and funny. I, I and then now wife. we see that. <laughs> And now we like see that. I know they're like, what the hell? Yeah. But we didn't end up fighting. She sent me like a wink or something. I sent her a wink and she took it as me flirting. I kind of was flirting. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to like break the ice because, you know, it's, I was supposed to fight her, but she seemed like she was cool. I watched some videos on YouTube and she seemed funny. So I was like, come down to camp. Yeah. I was like, I'll go to camp. And I, I'm still here. This camp is the longest camp ever. <laughs> I'm so used to just having the stuff at the gym. So we were sparring, eh? We were sparring, like, yeah. we were on the ropes. Yeah, yeah. We were sparring. sparring with some shots. No, no, no. You started talking shit to me I'm late at that. night. And she, because we never trained together. I was, it was my first day at camp and she was talking shit. She's like, I'll beat you any day or whatever. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go to the gym that. right now. It was midnight. We got in the car. She had <laughs> it was the like Rocky and Apollo. Imagine if Pete walked in. It was midnight. <laughs> Nobody was at the gym. We opened up the gym. It was dark. We turned off and I mean we turned on, turned on enough light to have some light But we didn't want to like get everybody's attention and we put some music on we used our teeth to like put our gloves on We used eight ounce gloves. We didn't even use sparring gloves and we beat the shit out of each other for ten rounds And during those ten rounds like in the sixth round she had me in the corner and she was like digging body shots And I was like oh and we were breathing heavy and then all of a sudden she just pushed me up and just started kissing me with the mouthpiece <laughs> Yeah, and I was I mean, like, I'm a classy guy. I'm a classy guy. Classy guy. guy. But it was, no, but it was hot. Yes. No, it is. You should try to kiss with yeah. the mouthpiece again. That was a good kiss. Bring it back. Like, damn, this girl could kiss, and maybe it's just a good mouth guard. <laughs> I never said that to you, but that was an awesome kiss. I mean, it was soft. You know, it was just slippery but, but, everywhere. And then it was like pushing. <laughs> yeah, then we kept going. Right? Yeah, and then we kept going. I mean, we were fighting, and that was it. And that's when I knew that this girl was special, and and I'm in love with her, and we're still together. So I'm getting a divorce, I'm legally separated, I'm getting partial custody of my kids. I have four kids, a mother of four. We train together, we work each other's corners, and um, hopefully we'll be fighting for the same promotion. She signed with Bella. I'm trying we to get signed. She got the UBF, I got the UBF. Yeah, we're, we're world champions. Classes. And we uh, just, we share a lot of passion. That's gotta be a first. That's <laughs> great, yeah. <laughs> All right. Don't make it tighter, it's getting too tight. We're going to grandma, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, open. Oh, okay. Hold on. My hand is going numb. Yeah, that's from having it like that. 
don't make it any tighter. It's not that it's tight, it's from your hand sitting up there. My trainer agreed with the opponent, my manager did, uh, the promotion thinks um, she's great for me, it's going to be a great fight according to her style or whatever, according to them she has a style just for me and I know it's going to be very competitive, she has a winning record, um, she's fought very good people out there and I mean I'm doing what I have to do to, to, to win this fight so I'm not, I'm not worried about who I'm fighting, I just, I, I just want to get in there, if the fight was tomorrow I would step in the ring, I'm ready. And I'm, you've been doing a lot of sparring? Yeah, a lot of sparring with Shelly. I switch up my sparring partners a lot. Um, just with to, Ashley Moore, Amanda yeah. Pavone. Amanda Pavone. I mean, the best Model. fighters out yeah. there. Yeah, so. I mean, she, we keep fresh bodies going in all the time, you know? So that she, she's always, she's ex to her exhaustion and fresh people coming in each time to make it really work. And we fight two minutes, but I've been sparring three minutes. We rest one minute in the fight. I've been resting 30 seconds, so I'm pushing yeah. it to the extreme. So we always train on male rounds. Mm -hmm. That's why it wouldn't be an issue to fight the three minutes because everybody's always, oh, why the girls don't fight, but pay us. We, pay we, us. We ain't gonna, yeah. we ain't gonna pay you, you know what I'm saying? For, for minimum wage, y'all gonna get minimum effort. So, <laughs> <laughs> but, but no, they, they, they want to, they already ain't paying us fairly enough and they want us to fight an extra minute like the men don't pay us like the men. Yeah, and I mean, but we're like, not talking we, about this fight coming up. I'm very it. happy with my purse coming up. <laughs> I'm just saying women's boxing in general. In general you know, yeah. we do fight um, shorter, shorter rounds. And the break is the same, but you know I am getting ready like the man, like the men get ready. I fight um, three minute rounds in the ring, so yeah. basically the message is I'm ready, and I think I'm gonna do real good because I know I'm gonna do great. Because um, the rest is 30 seconds at the gym, and um, the rest of the fight is one minute. So I'm just looking forward to all those changes, and I know they're gonna work to my favor big time. And that's coming up on uh, June 30th at uh, Foxwoods. Uh, Luis Rosa is in the uh, headliner, Babe. right? Yep, she's called me. Now, how about you, Shelly? What's uh, what's coming up for you? I'll fight on July 21st at uh, Foxwoods as part of the Broadway boxing series from Ludabella. So uh, I'm, I'm on the second installment, which is July 21st. Not sure the opponent yet, but I'm just I'm just getting back in the gym and getting ready. So she's peaking, and I'm just getting started. So, but, yeah. but we do everything together. Everything together. We train together. Everything. We everything. We, together. We, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we wash each other's backs. And we we clench a lot. <laughs> No, we kiss in between rounds. No. <laughs> Just for oxygen reasons. Right, right. Like, uh, you okay? Right. <laughs> no, but I mean, we follow the same diet. Our, our rests are pretty much, I mean, we live together. So yeah. we sleep the same amount of hours. Yeah. So yeah, everything we do is, is, is together. Side by side. And we actually work each other's corners. And we too, actually so. work each other well. So it's like people always ask the question is, would you guys really bang on each other? And the yeah. answer is, yeah, you should see us win. <laughs> If we have like a little issue before the sparring session, it gets intense. And it's like a title fight. Because the argument <laughs> verbally continues during the sparring session. Yeah, and then like, you drop the water on the couch and you didn't clean it, boom. <laughs> you do the dishes, now nah, boom. <laughs> nah. So, but, but yeah, we, we, we go all out like the same way as it would be a complete stranger in there. Yeah. But we're professionals. We are professional fighters. And um, we just really help each other reach the full potential. You know, 
I mean, and I have my days where I just don't feel like training. I really don't. I don't even want to get out of bed sometimes. And she's like in my face, you know, do it. You know, your opponent's not resting and she's motivating me. And it, sometimes she pisses me off. But at the end of the day, I do get out of bed, put my shoes on. And after my workout, I'm like, damn, if you hadn't pushed me, I would have never done it. So that's that's when it really comes in handy. And I'm the total opposite. I love to train. Yeah, she does. All she's time. obsessed with it. Yeah. She, I mean, to me, sometimes she just doesn't have a, a limit. And I like to listen in my body. Sometimes I have days where I feel like I'm gonna get injured if I continue. And, and I'm like, like, no, it's this is in your mind. It's in your mind. mind. Yeah. So I'm actually yeah. switching up the way I used to, you know, work out. You're gonna see train. a whole different fighter when yeah. she fights. I mean, I've the, changed a the lot. The stuff of that Pete's put it into her is, you know, he's, he's got her sitting on her punches. She's stronger now. He's, uh, he's got her making different moves that she hasn't made, and is, I, you guys are going to see a whole different fight. And that's not to say that the, the guy that used to train me before Peter wasn't doing a good job. I mean, every trainer has his own style. I'm talking about my effort and, and, and everything. And yeah, Pete's doing a great job. Um, you can't train every single fighter the same way. Like, Pete knows how to work with everybody's um, styles and bad habits or whatever. So he's, he's helped me a lot. I'm hoping I'll shine that night. I just, no, really it was February, right? That I came out um, publicly. publicly I'm, yeah. I'm a gay athlete and um, I am a mother of four. I was in a marriage with a man for 15 years and I'm in love with Shelly. I'm openly gay now. Um, I'm getting my divorce in a few months and um, I am gonna represent the gays the night of the fight with the gay flag. For the victims, yeah. For the, the victims, victims of Orlando. honoring the victims of Orlando. Yeah. Those are the body shots. I'm going to give him. Ten more seconds, baby. Heat Great is Great body shots. Heat is on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And my fight, actually, because everybody knows I looked up to idolized Ali and all stuff. So instead of the straight jacket and the mask that I usually come out, I'm going to come out in that full Ali authentic robe and the trunks and everything as a tribute to him and for, for how he impacted me with boxing. So. Uh, yeah. that's, that's what I'm gonna it's do. I always dedicate, I always dedicate right. my fight to something. There's always something that I'm fighting for when I fight it, and that, that one's I want to do for Ali. Yeah. Fight. Um, we're both uh, survivors of sexual um, child abuse, and uh, the message that we pass on is always related to that subject. Yeah. And, and you know, I was raped since age five all the way to nine, and then it continued with a family member up until I was 14. So it was like nonstop my whole childhood. She was raped as well as a child. And um, we fight for that. We fight against it. We're loud about it. And, and we do it through our boxing careers. And it really helps a lot of kids. They, they reach the inboxes. We go to schools together also with uh, Kaylee Reese. We go to schools, we talk to kids, we tell our story, mm -hmm. you know, and it, and, it, and it always impacts the kids and the kids always, you know. Talk about the importance of speaking, speaking out and, and, and breaking silence and, and not letting it happen. And if it does, talk about it, tell somebody. And then ways to treat it if it did happen so it won't ruin your life. Because if it wasn't for boxing, we wouldn't be alive right, right now. Right. So boxing helped us, but it might not work for someone else. There's other outlets, but yeah, we're always. You got to yeah, find something that, whatever. that you're passionate about. Yeah. Exactly. That's why I got into the box. I would cry hitting the bags for yeah. hours. I remember, I remember being in here hitting that bag when I was a kid and going to that window and crying because I didn't want all the guys to see me. But wow. and I, I used to now they that. understand what's to, going on. Yeah. I used to go to the gym at night when nobody was there, play some music, turn off all the lights, hit the bag, and just cry. It's so therapeutic. Yeah. And cry and just look. I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it. And just scream and yeah. cry like crazy in the gym. I had to let that out, but I needed to do it through physical pain and hit that bag, you know. And, and yeah, it helps You're a lot. literally fighting back. Yeah. Without yeah. the consequences, but you know? Wow. And, and it feels good. That's great stuff. Yeah. We're loud about that. <laughs>